Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 16, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll do a little bit different today. We'll start by looking at the VIX. As you can see, the volatility in the market absolutely exploded today. It was up roughly 11% at one point broke above the 20 simple moving average at the end of the US session it uh, broke below the 20 simple moving average but this is kind of a sign that the market may be turning at this point as kind of was expected if you look at the VIX for 2022 it has been trending in the highs of roughly at 34 to up towards uh, 36 and to the lows of roughly 19 uh, to uh, 20, um, 20. And at this point, we were very close to the very to the bottom. We have tested this area um, several times this year. Went down, up, down, up, and yet again down. And therefore, uh, the next probably two to three months, expectation is kind of uh, that we will see something similar to what we have seen for 2022 going into the first quarter of 2023 where volatility will increase and uncertainty will of course also increase and therefore we'll also see the market fall in the beginning of 2023 and probably also in the end of December. If you look at technical indi for indicators for the Wix, we can see that MACD is bullish at this point, Stochastic is bullish, and RSI is also bullish, and it's basically from its lows here where we'll, it was almost oversold. So as kind of the expectations at this point, this is how the market has been trending for 2022, kind of looks like that's where we're heading towards uh, in the next few months. If we were to break below a 20 or 19, and then we may see this market go even lower towards these levels of 18 or 16, 15, and so on. But, but considering that interest rates will continue to uh, to uh, rise uh, going forward, that will definitely be a big headache for the markets. If you look at the 10 year, it did it fall today, today, even though um, even though the market fell off a cliff the tenure also fell and at this point we are hovering around the lows here roughly 3.4 and at this current stage it is fairly oversold we're on the edge of being oversold stochastic is bearish and the uh, macd is also bearish but we are kind of making the bottom here if we were to drop below here then the 200 moving average is right underneath and we'll most likely have a a rally at that point dropping below the 200 moving average and then we'll certainly see this market uh, continue dropping but it does look like the uh, trend has changed if you look at the overall trend we have these major rallies and it looks like we may see this market test the 200 moving average and then bounce from that so let's look at the nasdaq and this was an absolute horrible day for the indices and stocks in general, especially tech stocks. You can see that the Nasdaq is down more than 3% and it has broken below the 50 moving average. So at this current stage, it looks like we are continuing with this downtrend that we have seen for 2022, where we have tested this upper trend line and then broken down. So it looks like just a continuation of this move and next legs will just go lower going forward into 2023. As I pointed out in the VIX, if the VIX continue to, continues to rise, well, this will continue to fall as there's a negative correlation between the VIX and these indices. So at this point, we may see some choppiness uh, in the next coming days, uh, but it looks like going forward in the long term uh, this downward trend is going to hold uh, so if you look at technical leaders we can see the macd is bearish stochastic is bearish and our size is bearish and there's a lot of room to the downside so let's look at the s&p 500 very similar here this was kind of the warning sign that p 
people were getting too anxious and then kind of kind of gave up on that optimism and started selling so amazing um, to start selling here but uh, but uh, if you just look at the overall for the S&P 500 it looks very similar uh, to the Nasdaq as we have tested this upper trend line uh, several times in 2022 and what comes after is a fairly major uh, drop in the indices indice and that is probably what we're going to see uh, in the next few uh, few months I had to write that better so in the next few months that's probably what we'll see going forward if we were to rally from here we basically need to break above this trend line and then head towards 4200 but considering the uncertainty in the market it's more likely that we'll we'll see this market continue dropping if you look at the indicators we can see the macd is bearish in positive territory stochastic is very bearish and rsi is also bearish with a lot of room to keep the downside so so let's look at the dow jones so dow jones has been uh, a lot more bullish uh, than the other u.s indices kind of broke through this trend line that we had formed and it looked like we were continue we're going to continue going higher but that candlestick there is usually when people start selling um and and we have seen a continuation of that selling also looks like we have a, a golden crossing here but it may also be that the 50 moving average will do something similar to that just get rejected here and the 200 moving average will just pull above it will never have this crossing so if this continues dropping then we may go and test the lows yet again as this upper trend line was basically where we got rejected we broke above it but if we break below it again, yet again then we may go significantly lower if we look at technical indicators, because the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is also bearish, so momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage. So European markets very similar to the Dow Jones, as we had this trend line that got broken. Market really took off to the upside. We tested this area forever. I don't know how often I tried to basically um, short this market and then just left short tried to sort it and and just left because it was going up and down and so on and finally this was basically the warning sign that now was the time to start shorting and we just see how this negative candlestick today we're down more than three percent uh we most likely will not have this crossing here and what we'll see is that we'll break below the 200 or the 50 and head back towards this trend line. As European markets are significantly worse off than the US market, I don't have a lot of hopes for the DAX at this current stage. So we have been testing, testing this trend line, broke above it, and now it looks like we are gonna head back towards the lows, but let it be seen. We may also bounce from the 200 moving average. We may go down here and then continue upward. But considering how often we tested this area here and that this has been an area where we have had troubles getting past, we can see it here, also here and so on. It may well be that we'll see something similar to this more than uh, the market will rally to the upside. So let's go and look at the Nikkei. And as you can see, we are just above the uh, just above the 200 moving average and 50 moving average. If we break up below here, then uh, 25K is most likely where we'll head to. So this market has been trending at roughly 29K towards 25K. So within this room it had, or this rectangle that has been trading for most of 2022 so selling around 28 29 and buying roughly at the 20 um, 25k that has basically been the probably most effective trade for the nikkei for uh, for most of 2022 
But breaking below the 50 and the 200, and 200 moving average most likely will open up the door back towards in these lows. If we get rally here, then we may go and test the 200, the uh, 28, 29 um, uh, range. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that momentum is definitely to the downside. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, the CR. News, news, videos, videos, up, down, down, down.